Hey, welcome back to Bellox 18. I almost said trucking with Bellox 18. Good morning, everybody from Plover, Wisconsin. It is uh, 32 degrees, freezing, and uh, like literally freezing. Get it? Get it? You can say that now. You can say it's freezing and not be lying because it's 32 degrees. Uh, it, uh, it rained last night. It was like 60 degrees and, and drizzling. And then once the rain passed through, that little uh, <laughs> the little Arctic blast got here in the middle of the night. And uh, so now we got some chilly, some chilly morning. Uh, it's gonna lower, uh, actually continue getting lower um, uh, for the next couple hours until the sun comes up. Uh, so we're gonna get down to the 20s according to the weather app. But uh, that's why I'm all bundled up. Uh, I'm nice and warm because I'm bundled up. This California kid needs layers <laughs> like an onion. All right, uh, we're gonna get down the road. We're uh, we're in Plover, and we've got to go to Mazani. Mozani, Mazani. Man, someone told me how to say it too. Fate Trucking told me how to say it, and I already forgot. I forgot what how he told me to pronounce it. But anyway. We're gonna make a delivery. I looked at the place we're delivering, it's got one dock. Usually that means it's gonna go quick or it's gonna go really slow. So we'll see. We got a 6 a.m. appointment and uh, it's about a half hour away and it's darn close to 5.30. So we gotta roll the music and get the heck out of here. So roll the music. Six o'clock, um, but I don't see I don't see anyone over here. So I'm gonna go and just find someone to talk to, and um, yeah, see if we can find out where to go, what we're doing. I saw a bunch of fifty-three foot. Sorry, I saw a bunch of fifty-three foot trailers over that way, and there's some little trucks over here. And this is the one dock at the address. I don't know what that address is. There are 53 foot trailers over there, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, so here's the parking lot. Here's the dock I'm gonna hit. Uh, that little door right there, no marking, no nothing. I just knocked on it, no one answered, so I opened it up. I walked in there, the lights were off, and then they turned on when I walked in because of the motion deten detector. So I'm like, hello, hello, anyone here? And then uh, some guy came walking out of a back area Hey, how's it going? I'm like, am I in the right spot? I don't know what I'm doing, but he said, uh, I can back in right there. I'm in the right spot. That's the dock. Break the seal, open up, and do all that stuff. So I'm going to go uh, get my gloves and we'll do this thing. Let's get in there. So he's unloading me now. I'll show you guys this, uh, this dock. It, this there's this like pretty significant slope to the street right like where the dock kind of ends and so it's like kind of you can't can't get too far to the right otherwise you're gonna fall but I got myself some hot chocolate and it's hitting the spot right now I don't like um, I'm not a big coffee drinker and when I do drink coffee I like um, like cold coffee <laughs> so kind of defeats the purpose when it's cold outside but I got myself some some hot cocoa from uh, from the quick trip over there, and uh, man, it's hitting the spot. It's 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 perfect, warming up the hands. I actually bought some uh, some of these just like cheap gloves, and they've got like the little grippies on them. They're not really work gloves. They're more like keep your hands warm gloves. So, uh, a little bit of a sissy lala when it comes to cold weather, guys. I don't know if you guys know. I'm from California. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, so this hot chocolate's like doing doing things for me right now. It's it's, uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm digging it, digging it. Um, he's gonna unload me really quick. Uh, it was just kind of like I thought, like one dot, which means they don't they probably don't get a lot of trucks here. Um, so this load is pretty awesome. I went and I went and picked it up. They loaded me in 30 minutes. I came over here. Pretty sure he's gonna unload me, and I, I mean, it'll be quick. 
I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a timer on him. I mean, I am gonna keep track of the time. Come on, but I, I don't, I'm not like suggesting that he uh, that he uh, has to beat a record or anything. But he is just one dude uh, in a warehouse by himself. It's like 6 a.m. Still dark outside, and he's in there. I don't know, somewhere in the dark. He probably has an office somewhere back in the back, but it was weird. It was weird when I went in there and I was like, hello? <laughs> uh, that's where, like, every once in a while I do wish I had, like, a GoPro on my head or a GoPro on my on my chest even, where it would where I could just kind of, like, leave it on and, and maybe not... I, that's why I think the chest... The chest, like, looks weird but less weird than like wearing it on your head everywhere you go um but it would just i mean i would literally have to just like have it on all the time with like a terabyte of uh memory card you know to like save everything that i'm doing all day and then i'd have to go through and cut out all the interesting things that happen uh so that just seems that just seems like uh, a lot of work <laughs> and a lot some big big files to transfer just to use little clips so that's why I don't do those kind of things plus you never know if you walk inside like I don't most customers don't want you recording inside of their facility um, most people don't want you recording on their property at all I mean I I don't I wouldn't love if someone came onto my my private private property and busted out their camera and started recording me I'd be like uh what are you doing <laughs> what, 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 you, what you got going on uh, <clears throat> anyway so that that's kind of that but there's some times where I wish you guys could experience that with me you know walking into an empty warehouse hello 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 anybody home <laughs> you guys would have a little tense suspense too. You guys would be on the edge of your seat, like waiting for like the guy with the chainsaw to come out. <laughs> I'm not a big horror movie guy, but I could imagine that one being a horror movie. Anyway, all right, let's uh, let's get unloaded. We'll get the heck over to. Um, we're going from Mazani. I'm gonna roll with Mazani. We're just rolling with Mazani, Mazani, Wisconsin, and we're gonna roll west over to shoot i forget the name of the town already spencer wisconsin we're going to spencer and uh we're going to pick up lando lakes so butter pretty sure it's going to be butter like butter so anyway um yeah we'll see how long this takes here and then we have like a 4 p.m appointment over there but on the rate confirmation it says can check in early i don't know how early but well, i guess we'll find out you guys see that the steep drop off. I know it's hard to it's hard to see the angle here, but it it does. It's it's a it's a steep steep angle here. So I didn't want to get my tires down. On camera it doesn't look that bad, but I'm telling you it's it's steep. It's steep. Alright, it's steep. It's steep. Just take my word for it. It doesn't look like it on camera. But, and then that driveway is steep. That's actually the one I came in on. I was a little worried that I might scrape my bumper, but I came in and at an angle. Like, uh, I learned growing up in the Pomo, California, all the dudes with the lowriders, little Cadillacs on Dayton's and everything. Those guys uh, would go in diagonal every time. Diagonal, bro, that's the way you do it. I think he's done. All right. All right. 6:55. He's done. He's done unloading me. I'm gonna go back there and close up these doors, and uh, we'll be on our way to Spencer, Wisconsin. It's about 40 minutes away. So it'll be a little bit early for my 4 p.m. appointment. Just a little bit. All right. It is uh, 28 degrees. We're gonna go out here through a little little town across the Wisconsin River, uh, back on some two-lane highways. So this should be fun.
shipping and receiving this way. Shipping and receiving this way. No idea where I'm going, but we're gonna figure it out. Shipping straight ahead, receiving over here. All right, all right. I'm seeing trucks now. We're, we're doing good. Figuring out where to go. Truck route exit to State Highway 13. Follow truck route. Cool. Hey, Martin's Milk Service. We're over here. I'm just gonna park behind this guy because this seems like we're out of the way. And like maybe I'll go check in. He was just hopping in his truck. I'm gonna see if he pulls up. If he pulls up, I'm gonna pull up with him. If he's gonna stay here, I'll just pull my brakes and park right where I'm at. Oh, he's pulling forward. All right. All right, so this is gonna be the, uh... oh, that puddle's icy. I can tell, I can see the ice crystallized on top of the puddle. All right. I'm gonna go check in, let's see this. All right, so my, um... My 4.30 appointment is actually a 6.30 appointment, and uh, they will load me early, I can tell, but they also, they weren't, they weren't making any promises to me right off the bat, so uh, I just said, um, hey, you know, they said, they said I might be able to get loaded early, and, and she said, uh, yeah, yeah, we usually get, you know, we can usually get people in and out. And then um, she said, but if you know, she goes, because she goes, we haven't even pulled your order yet because it's such a late afternoon appointment. She goes, so um, what, what you wanna do next time is just call us if you know you're gonna be early and we can have your order pulled. I was like, that's cool. Not many warehouses operate like that. Where you say, hey, I'm gonna actually be, you know, however early and she goes, yeah, this, this broker, they usually schedule the appointments for uh, for late afternoon, so that people can um, can get them, can uh, can make sure they get here. And I said, I understand that. I just had delivery about 40, 40 minutes away, and uh, that went really quick. So I didn't know how today was going to go, but now that I know, I should have called you guys yesterday because I knew I would at least be here, um, you know, by like 10 a.m. or so. And um, and she said, yeah. She goes, next time, just give us a call and it'll save a lot of time. I said, okay, sounds good to me. Uh, but even as it is, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna have too much to worry about right here. I'm just gonna back over here into this dirt. I'm just gonna chill right here and uh, relax until she gives me a call. And however long that's gonna be, we'll you know we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But um, yeah, see how long this takes. It's only 8.40, um, so not quite an hour since I checked in, uh, less than an hour, and um, it is, 
I have a door. They said, put it in door 44. Set the read for the 33 degrees. And let's see. Set the read for 33 degrees. I'm gonna go all the way over here in this thing. Anyway, slide the tandems, set the read for 34, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, it's currently 25 degrees outside, plus there's a decent wind chill. So at this point, I think we're protecting the uh, stuff that we're picking up from freezing rather than, uh, you know, actually needing to keep it cold. <laughs> So anyway, we'll flip around and uh, get it in this dot and shoot, then we'll get out of here, man. Get out of here. I forgot I had dropped my bags to take uh, that video, that little montage I did. <laughs> Riding around with no, uh, with no suspension. All I did was hit one little bump I'm surprised I didn't feel it before that. You hit one little bump with uh, your airbags dropped and it's like, it's like hitting a freaking brick wall. Anyway, all right. I'll uh, get it in this thing. Got the air and the airbags filling up. <laughs> I'm gonna go open my doors and then, uh, I don't think it's gonna take very long for them to load me. I'm seeing guys get in the docks and get out of the docks really quick. All right, she just came out and sealed me up. Now, I don't know if you guys believe me that it's cold. It is cold. <laughs> like drains are gonna be plugged with, uh, with ice. We're keeping it nice and warm and toasty at 34 degrees inside there, so. Um, she came out and she sealed me up. I'm letting the air build up in these uh, trailer tandems here. We, we slid them back forward. So now we just gotta go inside and get our paperwork. All right, got the paperwork. Um, we got like a few little snowflakes falling. And I think it's from like the moisture that these things, they pull out. And then, so I don't think it's actually snowing like away from that thing putting um, moisture in the air and then having it freeze and come down right on top of us. So I don't think it's snowing outside of this immediately, immediate little spot. But uh, I like snow. I, I'm not used to this kind of weather, guys. This is fun. It's fun. As long as it doesn't snow hard. <laughs> All right, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. All right. It's 10 a.m. And we got out of here at a, uh, in a great time, considering I had a 6.30 p.m. appointment. Uh, I will take it. I will take it. Um, I actually don't know where I'm going. So I should pull over and pull up my map. I was all confident but I should be more confident considering I'm going down a residential street. I gotta be like 100% sure and I'm only like 80% sure. But I'm just excited we got out of there and uh, we're, we're trucking, man. I'm gonna get down to um, either Southern Illinois or maybe into Kentucky, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that much ground, make up that much ground in the nine and a half hours of drive time I have left today. So I'm thinking Southern Illinois, and then uh, shoot, man, spend the night there, and then we'll be home in the morning, and we'll go deliver this load uh, Monday morning. So I'm gonna pull up my map. You guys just uh, ride along with me. Let's go.
got over here to this Love's um, just outside of Madison, Wisconsin. Um, I don't know where it's at. I don't know where we're at. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna stop and have lunch here and then we'll keep on heading south. And uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get. See how far we get and then uh, we'll, I don't know. But there's a Hardee's, so I'm gonna have some Hardee's for lunch and then uh, we'll get on our way. Baseball signs. I don't know why I clap my hands. I don't know. Just stopping over here um, outside of Champaign, we're like 20 miles outside of Champaign, Illinois. And uh, my mustache is crazy. It's pretty cold. I don't know what this wind chill is, but it's uh, mid 30s, low 30s, and then there's a wind chill factor too. So pretty cold, man. But uh, uh, I'm gonna stop and use the facilities, and then we'll keep on trucking, I'm trying to get down to. Um, uh, Mount Pleasant, Illinois, or Marion, Illinois. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. We'll see where we end up. But gotta get a gotta get a glimpse of that sunset, you know, while we're here. Cause uh, that's how we roll. I love sunsets. Long walks on the beach. Poopies. Volleyball. All right. All right. So I just came out of the bathroom, and is that who I think it is? Is that who I think it might be? I gotta go, I gotta go find out. Yeah, you guys were right, you were right. It's not him, but that truck is like almost the same, almost the same truck, but uh, yeah, when you lease on the Mercer, Mercer's on the side of your, side of your truck, so all right. Let's get on down the road and uh, shoot, man. So got a couple more hours plus to go so let's get to stepping put it in the wind let's go Vernon, Illinois. I may have called it Mount Pleasant earlier. I didn't realize uh, I had done that until I had texted my wife. And I said Mount Pleasant, and then I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. And then um, I actually looked at you know the map where I was going, and I was like, hey, wait, I'm totally wrong. I wasn't going to... Mount Pleasant, I'm going to, uh, what's the other one? What did I say? Mount Vernon. So. Alright. I've never stopped here before, actually. There's a Pilot and a Flying J. I think I'm going to try the Flying J first. It has more parking. 200 parking spots, according to the Flying J app. Pilot up there, so if I, if I can't find parking here, I will go on down the road. There's a Freddy's frozen custard. Uh, that might be what I do for dinner. There's a lot of options around here, though. I'm kind of digging that. Um, I think I came in the wrong way here. Let's see if I can find some parking in here. I have.
have a uh, I have 14 minutes left on my uh, drive clock today. So this is uh, this was a busy day. pay to park back there in that little special lot. I guess I could do that if I have to. Uh, I'm gonna squeeze by this guy. He looks like he's he's in there. Oh he's got a he's got a pole behind him. That sucks. time I park all the way back there in the back though at that reserved parking it's uh, I might as well just park over at the TA for free the only reason I want to be over here at this Flying J is so that I can use my uh, so I can use my points and, uh, and my showers because uh, I'm stinky man I need a shower I need a shower Um, all right, let's go, uh, let's go back there in, into no man's land, into, into the paid lot. That guy changed his mind. He didn't want to be there where that where that pole kind of kept him from being able to back all the way in. I really didn't think this would be the this pole at 6:15. I mean 7:15. I guess it's about that time, huh? All right, let's see. parking back here for all of us schmucks who have to pay for it <laughs> all right we're parked all the way back here and uh we're off by our lonesome el hueso queso hey we're hauling queso it wasn't butter it's not butter it's definitely cheese so uh, i knew land lakes made cheese but i was used to just seeing the butter maybe that's just because that's that's what we did when i was a kid we, we bought land lakes butter but um Ooh, I need to put my gloves on because it's chilly. But uh, yeah, Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers. Uh, there's actually a uh, there's an Applebee's. That doesn't, that doesn't actually sound too good, except uh, their spinach artichoke dip is good. That's the only thing I like there. Not the only thing I like, but like that's the only thing that's like good. There's a Cracker Barrel over there. You know me, everybody. Every cracker likes Cracker Barrel, you know? Uh, I don't know if that's, I, I don't know. How, how does this happen? How does that happen? How does my shoe come untied? I never untie my shoes. And I double knot them. All right, well, here, you guys, do this so I can 
Tie my shoes, please. You guys, you guys doing okay down there? I gotta try to decide what to eat. And, uh, you know, I gotta try to figure out if I'm taking you guys with me or if we're gonna cut the video off here. But, um, we did a little bit of driving today, man. Uh, we did over 600 miles. We went from, um, and this wind is probably gonna mess up the audio. That's okay. You guys don't mind, right? You guys, I've blown out your eardrums for a long time. Uh, anyway, maybe I'll try and cup it. Cup the audio, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, over 600 miles we started in, um, uh, we didn't start in Spencer. We didn't start in Mazanin. We started in, uh, what's that little town right there by Stevens Point? Anyway, right, right there south of Stevens Point, Plover, the snowy Plover, the snowy Plover. That's the dang bird that shut down the Pismo Dunes for uh, all the off-roaders. Anyway, Plover, Wisconsin. Thanks, snowy Plovers. You guys suck. Cool birds, but they nest in the sand so then like if you ride your ATVs on the sand you're just gonna crush a bunch of clover eggs uh, anyway random things you didn't need to know with Velox 18 all right um, uh, yeah so we went from Plover made our delivery in Mazani Mazani over to Spencer Spencer all the way down here to Mount Vernon Illinois and uh, yeah Pretty good day of driving, and we're gonna pay $12 to park. We're at a Hux Flying J. I kind of like the Hux. Hux Flying Js are cool. Anyway, uh, I gotta put my gloves on. We're gonna cut the video off here. Love you guys. Peace out. See you tomorrow.